Hello everyone. We're going to carry on with our A family. So we're going to do some words first and then we're going to finish the story of Sid the Snail. So here's our first word for today. All the sounds you need for the word stay. Stay. So what do I need first? Yep. And then. That's right. And these two letters which are how we're spelling the A sound in this word. Let's say the sounds and read the word. St a stay. Can you help me to write them? St a stay. Your turn. Show your grown up. Well done. Okay, I don't need that one at the moment. We do need this one again. And this time we'll have this one. What sound is this? Well done. Now, this is a country. Some of you might have been there on your holidays. It is Spain. Spain. So, what does that start with? That's right. A. We need the p. Sounds a bit like a b, but it's always a p. You can't have words with s and then b. It has to be a p. And then the a. And what's on the end? Yep. Let's say the sounds and read the word. Spain. Spain. Now, when we write it, because it's the name of a place, what do you think it needs at the start? That's right, it needs a capital letter. So here we go. Spain. Spain. And then the bar. S, it's sages. S, there. Nice and tall. Okay, your turn. One, two, three. Show me. And show you growing up. Well done. Okay. This time we're going to need this one. Can you remember what this is? The split spelling, that's right. So we say the A sound when we see the first part of it. Okay, here's all the sounds you need for cave. Cave. I wonder if anybody's built their cave yet for their challenge. It's going to start with... That's right. And then our A sound. And what other sound do we need? Cave. That's it, so we've got our in the middle. Let's say the sounds and read the word. Cave. Cave. Well done. Let's mix them up. Tell me how to write it. Cave. And there's the other part of our split spelling there. You don't need to draw the beak, I'm just showing you where it is. Your turn. One, two, three. Show you grown up. Well done. Right, the last one we're going to do today is with the very strange spelling of A. That's a word I think Florence is quite familiar with. It's the word break. Break. What's it start with? And then break. And then we need our A sound, and this time we're going to spell it like this. Break. 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 Fantastic. Okay. Tell me how to write it. Break. Well done. Your turn.
One, two, three, show you who I love. Fantastic, right. Gonna go, can't go back to our story now. So, here's our story. I'm gonna read you the whole thing and then we're gonna look for the A words. Sid, the snail, remember snail had an A word in it. Sid was fed up with being just a snail and decided he wanted to try something new. One day during the month of May, he decided to become a weather reporter. He crawled outside, leaving a slimy trail behind him. At first, it was warm and sunny and he liked being outdoors. But soon the grey clouds came and it began to rain. Just then, it started to hail and Sid had to quickly hide inside his shell where he felt safe. He didn't want to be a weather reporter anymore. The next day, Sid decided he would like to become a postman and deliver people's mail. I can do this, he thought to himself. It looked easy. He set off carrying a bag full of letters and cards. He slithered along paths and pavements. He even avoided falling down all the drains. Even though he was slow, he was really enjoying himself, reading names and addresses on the front of letters and cards. But suddenly he crawled over a nail which was lying on the ground and was left in a lot of pain. Sid decided he didn't want to be a postman again. What a shame. Next, he decided to become a sailor and made his way down to the bay. He found a pale green boat and climbed inside. When he was out at sea, he saw an enormous whale who created a gigantic wave with one almighty swish of his tail. Sid was covered in water when the wave splashed over his boat. Hmm, time to go, thought Sid. So Sid went home and decided, although he'd had a busy time, he would be most happy just being a garden snail. So we're going to whiz back up and you're going to shout out when you hear the A words. So what sound are we here listening for? That's right. And you're going to tell me the words with it in. The next day, Sid decided... Oh, yes, day. Well done. He would like to become a postman and deliver people's mail. Mail, well done. I can do this, he thought to himself. It looked easy. No, not easy. Easy's not got an A sound in it. There wasn't one in there. He set off carrying a bag full of letters and cards. No, not cards. He slithered along paths and pavements. Pavements, that was a long word, wasn't it? Pavements. He even avoided falling down all of the drains. Drains, well done. Even though he was slow, he was really enjoying himself, reading names and addresses on the front of letters and cards. No, nope, nothing in there. But suddenly he crawled over a nail which was lying on the ground. No, not ground. Listen again. He crawled over a nail which was lying on the ground. Yes, a nail. Well done. And was left in a lot of pain. Oh, pain, yes. Sid decided he didn't want to be a postman again. Again. What a shame. Shame. Next, he decided to become a sailor. Mm -hmm. Sailor, well done. And made his way down to the bay. Yep, bay, but was there another one in there? Way, yeah. There's another one as well. Listen again. Made his way down to the bay. Made. Well done. He found a pale green boat and climbed inside. Pale. Well done. When he was out at sea, he saw an enormous whale. Whale. Who created a gigantic wave. <laughs> Or with one almighty great swish of his tail. Great, well done. Was there another one? Tail, yeah. Sid was covered in water when the wave splashed over his boat. Wave, yeah. Time to go, thought Sid. No, there wasn't one in there. So Sid went home and decided, although he'd had a busy time... Well done, there wasn't one in there. He would be most happy just being a garden snail. All right. Now, when we come back next time, we're going to do something with all of these words that we've collected. I've got a new game for us to play. 
I'm going to leave you with one word to read. I'm just going to change this word. So what do you think this one might be? Would you like a line down it? There we go. Any ideas? Shall we go? Paint. Paint. Ink. Ink. Painting. Painting! I wonder if any of you are going to do any painting this week. I'll see you on Thursday for some more things with Sid the Snail. <laughs>